Good morning, my fellow Fortniters. Today we're gonna try something fun with Shadow Meowskulls. I'm kitty kitty, I'm cat. If you mess with me, you're gonna get scratched. All right now, we're gonna go down to the Shadow Safe House. And we're gonna put on a little disguise and we're gonna catch a fish. And then we're gonna go see if we can get this question answered. And the question of the day is, will Shadow Meowskulls eat a flopper? That is the question I pose to you. As you can see, I'm descending upon the island right now. I got my morning voice in full effect, drinking a hot cup of coffee here. And we got Shadow Meowskulls going down to the telephone booth to change into a shadow henchman. Just like Superman used to change from Clark Kent into Superman in a telephone booth. They don't have telephone booths anymore. Lazy Lake Island's finest. Alright, let's go walk around these other shadow henchmen. Open a couple ammo boxes. Get some bullets. I'm gonna make a bullet point of that. Alright, let's harvest some rock right here. Yeah, this is great. And we've got our first weapon of the day, folks. It's a green burst assault rifle. Let's make that a double. Alright, that waterfall is looking beautiful today. Reminds me of Yosemite. And we got a flopper and the first catch. Let's see what we can get next. Ooh, a slurpfish. I think I'm going to keep that for myself. Two slurpfishes. That's double the good eating. Alright, we got our one flopper. That might be enough to do this challenge for the day. Get a little bit more rock. You can never get enough rock, that's what I always say. That mountain's looking beautiful. Reminds me when I went camping a few years back at Leo Carrillo, down in Malibu. Woke up, fresh, crisp air. Nice cup of coffee, great outdoors, and a nice mountain in the background. I see there's a little skirmish there in the distance, but we're going to bypass that and ignore it completely. He's missing with all his shots. Alright, we got two floppers, and that should be enough to feed Shadow Meowskulls. That is, if he's hungry. I'm kitty kitty, I'm cat. If you mess with me, you're gonna get scratched. That's my uh, little take on the melody. I changed the last note. I like to do that to popular music. I like to take their melodies and just change it slightly. Come up with my own version. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Shadow Meowskulls. But first, let's see what we can get out of this truck. This reminds me of when I used to deliver to Big Five Sporting Goods. I remember I showed up with a huge truck, and everyone that helps you unload the truck was at lunch. Oh, let's see what we can do here. Nope, he's not interested. Oh, he's crying. Poor guy. He's still upset that Deadpool kicked him off the yacht. Uh, Come over here. Let me fish him. Here. Here's a nice flopper for you, bro. No? Come on, it'll cheer you up. Have a nice flopper. I know you like fish. You're a cat. No, he's not interested at all. So the answer to will Shadow Meowskulls eat a flopper is no. 
Let's see what other fun we could have with Shadow Meowstones. Would it be Scorpion? Get over here. Alright, let's go raid Shadow Meow Skills Aware first. Before we have a little bit more fun with him. Let's see if we can't find a bounce pad. AKA crash pad. I'm kitty kitty. I'm cat. If you mess with me, you're gonna get scratched. That's a great little song. I wonder who wrote that. Maybe Shadow Meowskulls wrote it? Maybe Ghost Meowskulls? Who remembers when Ghost Meowskulls was in charge of the yacht? So to that effect, I don't know why Shadow Meowskulls is so bent out of shape. It was Ghost Meowskulls that dominated the yacht. I think this was Shadow Meowskulls' first appearance at the box factory. Ah, it's a great day to go fishing for cats. I got two cats myself. Two 16-pound tuxedos with long tails. Their names are Buzz and Woody. Just like the characters in Toy Story, my friends. I'll tell you, that's a really cool mod-looking belt you got there, Shadow Meowskulls. Meow, meow, meow. Shadow Meow Skulls, Fishing Shadow Meow Skulls. A shadow, shadow shakedown, baby. You know how we get down this morning. Who's the boss? I think that Shadow Meow Skulls is the boss. Meow. All right, now we've had our fun. And now, let's see what we can get from this location and then get on out of here. So back to my story of when I used to deliver store fixtures to Big Five Sporting Goods. Sometimes I would wait in a line of big semi-trucks and I would just have my little Hyundai accent. And I would just have a bunch of banners, like grand opening banners for Big Five in the trunk. And I'd be waiting. And sometimes the big rigs... They weren't paying attention, so I would sneak by them to get a better position in line. But there was a couple times when I had some big deliveries. I had a whole bunch of golf cart fixtures and golfing fixtures made out of wood. It was a big, big, big truck. And I remember I got there and everybody was at lunch, so I had to unload the whole truck by myself. Boy, was that a workout. But you know what? I was up for it. So when it comes to lifting heavy stuff, this Polish boy, I will do it. That's right, baby. I love to lift heavy stuff. Alright, looks like I got, uh, got some goodies here. Holding the flopper in my hand. Alright. Yeah, I remember when I used to work for my dad when I was a teenager. Sometimes I would have just gotten ready for a date. I'm heading out to my car, and he stops me dead in my tracks. Hey, can you carry all these shingles to the roof? He was re-roofing our house, and there was a big stack of shingles. So here I am, dressed to the nines, ready to go out on a date. But first... I gotta carry a bunch of shingles up the roof. How's that for, uh... I can't even think of what to say here, so I'll just leave it at that. I had to get ready again, though, after doing that. Carrying shingles up a ladder makes you, uh, not ready to go out on a date. Those were back in the times when my old man would give me a $20 bill. And he'd say, here, you and your date go have a good time. You could actually go to the dinner and movies with a $20 bill in the 80s. Can you believe that, people? Nowadays, a $20 bill lasts you about five minutes. That is inflation. Alright, we're going over Lake Canoe. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Stow away your tray tables and your electronic devices. 
put your seats in the upright position. You can go ahead and finish off those peanuts if you want. I know it's a big bag, but it might take you a while to get through it. Just trying to get out of the storm. You know, I think we should go pay Sky a visit. See what she's up to. Yeah. I was going to do this whole video with uh, the Shadow Meows in voice. But you know what? It's first thing in the morning. I don't think my voice is up to it. And you know what? Everybody's asleep in my house. I don't want to wake them doing a voiceover. Yeah. We just flew over Grumpy Greens. So, uh, here's something about me. I suffer from severe vertigo. I haven't had an episode in a couple years now, knock on wood, but I remember I was with my family at the Grand Canyon, and we took one of those little prop planes over the Grand Canyon, and I was looking right, and the momentum of the plane was going forward, and that triggered my vertigo. I can't imagine how insane that was. The whole plane was spinning. It felt like puking the whole time. And we had just taken off. <laughs> so I had to had to enjoy that ride. I think it was a good uh, good half an hour in an airplane feeling like you're gonna puke. So a little advice to anyone who suffers from vertigo. The only thing that knocks it out is meclizine. 15 milligrams of meclizine. You can get it prescribed or you can get it over the counter, my friends. That's right. Go down to your CVS or Rite Aid or Target or whatever and you could get a handy little motion sickness over the counter medicine called Dramamine. Now, granted, it's going to make you sleepy, but the active ingredient in Dramamine is meclizine. 15 milligrams to be exact. That's the exact amount that you need to kick out your vertigo. So you do this. Take my advice. I'm not a doctor or a pharmacist, but I suffer from vertigo, and I know how to get rid of it when I need to get rid of it. And I want to help you too, my friends. You take a Dramamine, you break it in half, you eat that, and within 20 minutes, your vertigo will be gone. Thank me later. All right, we're dressed up as a ghost henchman now. So in this match, we've put on both a shadow and a ghost henchman disguise. Looks like Sky is not around. She's already left the game. Looks like Sky's left the building, everybody. All right, I'm just gonna sing my theme song again because I love it so much, and because I have this sweet morning voice, baby. I'm kitty, kitty. I'm cat. If you mess with me, you're gonna get scratched. There's my logo on the wall. Oh yeah. This is Shadow Meowskos coming at you live from the morning. You know how we get down in the morning. Let's see if we can't do a little bounce padding, AKA crash pad. Now I always end up under these things, especially in a battle, and then I'm just trapped. Or oh, there's a rusty can. I like a rusty can in the morning. Shadow Meowskulls really likes rusty cans. Meow. I'm still on my first cup of coffee, baby. Let's do this thing. This morning thing. Alright, I can go all day. You know, I just got a Dance Dance Revolution hottest party in the mail yesterday. For my uh, Wii U. It's actually for the Wii. I have a dance pad that I got and I've, I've covered this in one of my last videos but I'll go over it again real quick the Wii dance pad and, and this is archaic I don't know if anyone's still working with the Wii or the Wii U I am I have a PS4 but it, I like to go back to the Wii U sometimes um, they get some cool games like Go Vacation I mean that game is one of the best one weekend, my daughter and I were sick. I think she was seven at the time. And we played for 12 hours on a Saturday. 
and then we repeated that performance on a Sunday. So that's a grand total of 24 hours of gameplay on the Wii U for Go Vacation. Alright, we're going to do something fun here, kiddies. A little sidetrack from the original mission. We're going to show you what it looks like to destroy the lighthouse. And I'll give you a hint, it looks exactly the same as destroying the yacht. So sit back, fasten your seatbelts, enjoy the ride. Alright, we got one more wall to take out. And this thing is going to go kabam. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Check that out now. That's comic book fun right there, baby. You know how we get down in the morning here as Shadow Meowskulls. So I'm still rolling around as the ghost henchman here. You know, they talk exactly the same. And it goes a little something like this. Yeah, they got the same dialogue. I want to know which voice actor did that, because that must have been a lot of fun. The only voice acting professionally that I've ever done was for the game Elite Beat Agents. I can't remember what it was. I was in for a vocal session doing a, doing a vocal song, and they needed a little something extra. They said, hey, can you come in here and do some, uh, some gang vocals? And I said, gang vocals? That's my forte. To sidetrack again, I actually did gang vocals on a band called Cold. They have a song called something about F the music industry. I can't remember the actual name of the song. But uh, I did the gang vocals on that song. That was kind of fun. I just happened to be in the studio at the time. That always happens. You're in a uh, vocal studio, and you just kind of get swept up in doing some gang vocal thing because they just need extra voices. But back to Elite Beat Agents. Um, apparently, there was one scene where they were rooting on the Elite Beat Agents, and I was saying, Go, Agents, go! Go, Agents, go! And that's, that's it. That was my claim to fame as far as voiceover work goes. I always wondered what it, like, what it would be like to get a, uh, an actual voiceover acting gig. Never done any acting. I've always uh, concentrated my arts in the uh, music industry. I've done vocal session work. I've written songs for other people. I've done my own stuff, of course. And um, I actually did a couple nights. Actually, a couple nights is wrong. I did one night of stand-up comedy at a comedy club. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. A couple people came up to me after and said that you remind me of a young Steve Martin. I thought that was quite the compliment, actually. Um, I just never pursued that. And uh, also, my buddies and I, we, we used to have a friend that was a stand-up comic, and she would buy us drinks and heckle the other comedians. That, that's a thing, you know. It looks like I'm in, in a little battle here. And eventually, we, we just kind of got bored with her scent. We started heckling her, too. The drinks stopped coming, but we had more fun that way. We just went there and heckled everywhere, everyone. That's, that's my... Uh, my parlay at comedy, heckling. <laughs> I used to go to the comedy clubs and heckle. It's pretty bad. But you know, it makes the comedians better if they're dealing with hecklers. Uh, Raid skis back in the game. I've sidetracked so much I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. There's only four people left. I'm Shadow Meowskulls. We've answered the age-old question, will Shadow Meowskulls eat a flopper? He might eat a, f a slurp fish, but he definitely will not eat a flopper. Alright, I've stretched out my vocal cords. I've lost my cool morning voice. Alright, let's drink up a little shield. Let's get back to 100. And then we're going to go in and see what kind of damage we could do. Looks like the storm's coming in. Oh, someone's in the bush shooting at me. I don't think so. I got a headshot on that. Knocked me down to only 30 health, so I got to build myself back up. Ooh, there's a crash pad. 
Could have used that earlier in the match when I was trying to have some fun. I think it's a little late in the game to be messing around. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Only three left. I got some great weapons. Hey, look at that. My loadout features three mythic weapons. I got Midas Drum Gun, Brutus Minigun, and uh, Meowskull's Piao Piao Rifle. Boy, that's a funny name for a gun. Imagine walking into a gun shop. Hey, you guys got the Piao Piao Rifle? <laughs> I think the gun seller would, would laugh at you. Until he realized that you were Shadow Meowskulls, then everything would get dead serious. Alright, we're moving in. Looks like we got a loot drop up in the tree. Let's see if we can't get that. Although I might be giving away my position. In French, that's pronounced uh, position. No, I'm just kidding. I made that up. I had a friend who uh, went to France and he doesn't speak any French at all, but he thought that speaking with a French English accent would help people understand him better. How funny is that? <laughs> it didn't work at all. I think that made it even harder to understand. Alright. I, I find broken English to be completely charming. My uh, grandparents had some serious broken English. They came over from uh, the Ukraine and Belarus and I don't know if they picked up English over there or if they pick it up, picked it up over here, but they had some serious thick accents. When I was a kid, we, we couldn't understand what they were saying half the time. I think we even had a little fun at their expense, but... Yeah, that's what we do as kids, right? Oh, I see someone jumping around. No, that was just a tree. I also remember my, uh, my dad. I don't know if he spoke Polish or not. But he used to take us to Polish Mass. And it was all in Polish. I had no idea what they were saying. I just remember that the missilettes were uh, called Pansy Wamis. And me and my brothers, we had some good fun with that. It's a funny word. So what I'm trying to do right now, back into the game, my strategy is to build up and over the trees. That way, if they shoot out my fort, then I just fall on the tree. And look at that. Phase chain got me before I could build over the tree. I probably should have been paying more attention to the game. You place number three, but hey, didn't we have some good fun there? We did a lot of fun stuff in this match. I got to dress up as a ghost and shadow henchman. And thank you for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great fortnight. And if it's nighttime where you're at, have a great fortnight. <laughs>